Hi everybody, this is Angelo Quinones, and I actually feel like a secret agent. I feel like James Bond, okay? Bond, James Bond. <laughs> I'm actually taking um, pictures, and I'm also taking, I can see that light that's shining over there, sorry about that. But um, I'm taking pictures and also taking video footage of this beauty over here. Let me just get this new world translation new world translation out of the way okay and this is a videotape okay on blood transfusion okay blood transfusion that's the title right over there and let me see if I can put it a little bit more closer for you guys all right now, I didn't see it yet but by the time you look at this video I already looked at it a couple of times so I'm not going to give a comment on it because I, I, I didn't see it yet. So it's actually, I just opened it up, the package. Actually, it was a brand new cassette, a video, you know, VHS of all things, okay? And so this thing is a beauty, okay? And I can't wait to, to, to check that out, all right? So I'm going to, I already opened it up, and I, I actually ordered it like about maybe two months ago or something like that from amazon.com i don't know if you can still get it so if you got a vhs a machine and i have a still i still have a couple um you can actually order this and see what the witnesses say okay all right so that's the thing about that and of course over here on this side i have okay i have the book oh, from the witnesses 1968 okay let me get this aside let me get this just out of the way over there okay and uh, this little beauty went to market and this little piggy stayed home now this okay 1968 uh watchtower publication right straight from brooklyn you understand and this is entitled okay this is entitled the truth that leads to eternal life all right so far i read in the book nothing that leads to eternal life nothing at all there's no mentioning of the blood of christ in chapter one and chapter two and chapter three i mean you know chapter three is very interesting in this book all right and the wonderful thing about this book is is divided into uh, chapters and verses so you can tell the witnesses, hey, listen, um, you say in, you know, chapter, in chapter 2 of your book on page 13 that whatever religion, okay, calls itself a religion, whatever religion it is that, that, you know, that accepts part of the Bible but denies other parts is not really a true religion. And they just, they just you know, describe themselves to a T. That's on page 13. And you have other chapters here, too. I mean, you have the chapter, you know, who is God, chapter 3, stuff like that. You know, no mentioning of the blood of Jesus Christ at all. And in that chapter, chapter, um, I can't go to the exact chapter because chapter I can't see from here. It's just a blur. Um, so the thing is that, you know, in chapter 3, they deny the Trinity and they deny Jesus Christ's deity. So um, in the book, you want to tell them in the book, and they know about the book. It's a famous book, 1968, and this book, okay, this book um, was written seven years before before the false prophecy of 1975. That's why I got the book, 1968. Okay, I'm you. I, I really am very interested to see or to read any book that was written before the false prophecies. Okay. Like uh, millions now living will, will never die and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I mean, that's another book as well, you know. So so I got this book, and this book is a beauty. I'm telling you right now, this book has theology, so-called anyway, to the hilt. 22 chapters of theology, of their twisted theology. So that's the thing about that. So anyway, I am going to, okay, I made several studies on this, you know. And that's going to come really next year on, you know, in its totality. And this right here, I can't wait to see. Because I, I, I know the teaching of the Watchtower. And indeed, in this very book right here, it has teaching on, you know, blood transfusion, not to do it and stuff like that. 
And um, over here, I can't wait to see this video. I really can't. You know what I mean? I can't wait. All right, guys. So I'm going to let you go. Parting is such sweet sorrow, okay, especially when you're uh, dealing with uh, with the witnesses. So, okay, and there's another book over here about paradise and stuff like that, you know, and all that good stuff. Let me see if I can introduce another book over here before I go. Now, of course, I have um, the book... Okay, well, let me just start with this since I have it over here, okay? Of course, everybody knows, everybody should at least, okay, try to get a copy of this, all right? Um, School and the Jehovah's Witnesses. School and the Jehovah's Witnesses is an amazing brochure. Really, when it has to do with morality, it almost rocks, you know, a lot of stuff that us Christians are right. It really does. But then it gets into its false uh, teachings and stuff like that about the cross and the denial about it, and mostly just the denial of, um, you know, holidays and, and all that stuff, you know what I mean? So uh, this is a very interesting uh, brochure. It's about a 30-page brochure, and it uh, actually teaches a lot, all right, about uh, denying, you know, um, the denial of Mother's Day and Valentine's Day and New Year's and Christmas and and um easter and uh birthdays and parades and and all of this stuff i mean denies everything i mean the, the poor kids can't do anything really actually really real really feel sorry for their witnesses all right now this book over here is a almost a one a 800 page book is a big fat book that has hundreds of articles if indeed it has hundreds though but I, tons of articles anyway just literally scares of articles okay and it's a collection of articles from the year uh 1974 and i got this because okay you can see all the articles over here i got this because all right nine this is a 19 um se uh, 74 collection of articles okay 1975 is the prophecy date. Okay, look at all these articles. I mean, just scars of articles, tons of them, tons. Okay, now this article is very intriguing over here. Okay, because it speaks about. Let me see if I could just uh, magnify it a little bit over there. Maybe I could put, um, you know, uh, Zoom or something like that in Corel Video Studio. Now this this article right over here. I already read it, and it's a. Uh, December 15th, 1974 article, okay? This is an article about 15 days before the false prophecy, before though, okay? So this is very intriguing what they say. The article's entitled, Who Will See the Sign of the Son of Man? Okay? Who Will See the Sign of the Son of Man? There you go. I mean, this is actually 15 days before 1975, folks, okay? I mean, you can't get any closer to the false date than that. You can't get any closer than that. Those are the last articles, I think, on the whole thing. Even this article over here, and let me see if I could go to it without skipping it. Remember, my eyes are not that great, so I hope I don't skip it. You know, I think that's the one right there, okay? That article, this, this other article is um, 15 days before the uh, false prophecy, too. So, I mean, you have all, look at all this stuff. I mean, skies of, of articles. I mean, look at this stuff. 800 pages of articles, literally. Very close to it. I mean, that's another book that I have over here, Other Witnesses. So you guys can know that I'm doing my homework for you guys. And I'm actually, you know, that's what I'm doing. All right. So, now, let's bring this baby over here. Little piggy. Okay, you know those piggy went to market and all that stuff. Well, that's what these things are, piggies. Okay, let's just face it, folks. Now the thing is that this is a book, a very new version of it. You know what I mean? Just, just, just the material I'm talking about, not the you know. Uh, Millions now living will never die. By who? The second president of the, of the Watchtower Society, Joseph Franklin Rutherford. This book was published in 1918. A year after he forced himself, okay, into the watch and being the president, the second president of the Watchtower Society, after Charles Day's, after 
the death of Charles Taze Russell in 1916. Charles Taze Russell was born in 1852, about seven plus years after the assassination of Joseph Smith, which happened in 1844 on June the 27th. Well, Charles Taze Russell was born about eight years after that. Okay, in 1852. All right. Now, Joseph Smith was running running uh, for uh, the presidency in uh, 1844. And he got shot and killed uh, in um, in uh, the Carthage jail over there with his brother. He and his brother got shot and killed, actually. And uh, a lot of people don't know that Joseph Smith died with a gun in his hand. He actually shot one guy and wounded another. How he got the gun in the jail, I have no idea. I don't know, but 200 Masons stormed the Carthage jail and killed Joseph Smith and his brother. So he died with a gun in his hand. So actually, people don't know that they're singing hymns, you know, those Mormons who sing, um, who sing to Joseph Smith, you know, hymns to, uh, praising Joseph Smith for the, uh, for the shedding of his blood, <laughs> okay? And uh, a lot of people don't know that he actually died with a gun in his hand and he was a murderer, actually. You know what I mean? Right. All right. So, on page eighty-eight of this book over here, over here, uh, entitled "Millions Not Living Will Never Die," it talks about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob coming back, and he never, and they never came back. Never came back. False prophet uh, Rutherford was okay, and he died in, uh, in uh, he died in um, nineteen forty-two, in the very same mansion, Beth Sarim. Maybe you can see it. Uh, snapshot of that. I don't know if I have that on the video. Beth Sarim, all right, House of the Princess is is is, is in Hebrew. Beth Sarim, and uh, uh, Franklin Rutherford died in that in that mansion. Uh, he built it in 1929 for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and uh, he prophesied that they were going to come. They never came, of course, because they're not supposed to come. Like that. Anyway, they're going to be raised from the dead, but not when Joseph Franklin Rutherford said. So, and so anyway, they never came, and he ended up living in that house by himself. Meaning, you know, he ended up uh, living in that house himself, and Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob never, 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 never uh, showed up. All right, um, you know what happened. You know, the mansion was built in 1929. And then he lived in it during the Great Depression, he lived in a mansion while everybody was eating out of the garbage can and, and uh, eating in soup kitchens. He was uh, living a life of luxury in, in, that, in that home, okay, and stuff like that. Had two Cadillacs, stuff like that, and, uh, you know, uh, he died in the mansion, Beth Zareem. In uh, 1942, and then the Watchtower Society sued Beth Sarim for a couple of bucks in 1948. In secret, they sold it. Very quietly. Anyway, guys, really that's why I wanted to show you. I think I have another book over here, okay, entitled, let me see. You can, let me see, you can live forever in... Paradise on Earth. And this is the book right here. Okay. This is the book. I just got it. All right. This is a must have for anybody who's witnessing to the witnesses. It's a must have. You must have the book. Okay. You can now live on, on, on you know, on Earth, you know, on Earth, and paradise, and all that stuff. I mean, this is, this was the convincing book for. Many people who wanted truth and stuff like that, and they were convinced by this this fraudulent book. That's just the way it is, folks. I mean, this is sad stuff. Let's just face it. All these publications, okay, of the White Shire Society were were uh, were just you know Satan's tools. Let's just face it. That's just all there is to it. You know, all of these books, scars of articles. This book over here, and for what? Nothing. Because he didn't come. Jesus didn't come. Okay, now he is going to come, whether people like it or not. But he's not going to come when, when people say he's going to come. Okay? All right? And he set up dates all over the place. And he never came. Because they're a false organization. That's all I was doing. 
I mean, there's no, there's no reason to deny that they're a false organization because Jehovah didn't come.